Hurry! Oh, hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. And mowers and blowers. Some nut wants to buy my lifely 13 inch 20 volt electric lawnmower. It's so tiny, it's like a toy. But people with small yards could use it. It's lightweight, easy to store and all that stuff. So some nut wants to buy it for a hundred bucks. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna use it. It's just taking up space. So giving a guy a really great deal. Also, what else am I selling? I've been helping my mother clean out her basement. So she has all this remained new old stock wood. I didn't know what to do with. Right now, I don't really need wood. Watch. When I need wood, I'm not going to have it. Either way, it takes up a lot of room. I have no plans for it. So I'm selling the whole lot for like 40 bucks. So I just have to load it into the uh, truck. So uh, the guy for the uh, lawnmower, the electric lawnmower, he came uh, the same time as the guy that wanted to buy the wood. It was funny. The guy's like, do you sell stuff in the uh, Your stuff uh, at a church? <laughs> uh, yes, apparently I do. Uh, anyway, um, so both of them paid me. Nice guys. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Both guys paid me, got 100 for the mower, 40 for the um, uh, wood. And the guy was like, hey, you know, wood costs like $15 a plank. And I'm like, forget it, deal's off. Give me 150. <laughs> Whatever, man, it's used. I don't know, I don't know how much this stuff is, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I should know, but I mean, I'm not like a wood guy, you know? Uh, anyway, a uh, guy just messaged me. He's already at, in front of my house. Uh, he wants to look at the, uh, Craftsman 30 inch that I just fixed yesterday. <laughs> I have it listed for 350, and uh, I mean, I'll let it go for as low as 250. Honestly, you know, I just would like to get rid of it. Uh, it did take me like five, six hours to fix it yesterday. It had, had a ton of problems. I don't think I'm going to be able to film because he's like right there waiting for me. <laughs> you know, but we'll see. Holy cow, I'm a selling fool today. Just woke up, sold three things within an hour, two simultaneously at the church. I got uh I got 40 for the wood. Uh 100 for the oh, I don't know why I don't have that. Oh yeah. 100 for the uh <laughs> electric lightly uh lawnmower. That's 140 and then when I got back to my house after the church, the guy was waiting for me to see the, the, the craftsman, and I had that listed for 350. I wrote this, I wrote uh, 350 as it sits right here, but if I find time to power wash it, it'll be 400. <laughs> so that gets people thinking, oh, 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 I can save 50 bucks if I get it now, as opposed to it being cleaner. I can power wash it myself. So sure enough, the guy came, he's a talker, like to talk all about stuff. I mean, you all go into politics because just love to talk. Anyway, uh, he had some interesting things I wouldn't mind talking to him about, but honestly, I was like, can we just look at this? <laughs> anyway, so uh, he offered me 325. I said, sure. <laughs> Picked it off the street yesterday. Fixed it, sold it today. Incredible. A riding mower, 325? I guess that's a good deal. Uh, so yeah, 
325. 325 and uh, 140 is uh, 465. Yeah, something like that. Almost $500. <laughs> Within an hour. That's great. And of course, everything I got was free. That's right, free. Didn't spend a dime. Well, that's not true. Uh, I did put a good battery in that riding mower. Hey, I got plenty of money now to buy as many batteries as I want. You know what I mean? So the FedEx guy or gal had a difficult time getting it onto the dolly and bringing it over here. She practically had to drag it here because it's so heavy. And then the box fell apart. So I believe they put it onto another box. Here it is right there. Can you make heads or tails of what it is? Holy cow. These are a set of mobility dollies. Like if you're working on a car and you can't move it around because you're doing an engine or something, or you want to maneuver vehicles in your garage into tight spaces, these things are hydraulic jack pumps that compress the wheel onto it so that the wheel comes off the ground and these caster wheels will allow you to move a car around your garage or a tight space without having to start your car. I know it's hard to picture what it is right here, <laughs> but when I try to find the directions and put it together, you'll see what I mean. I got these because I can use them. My snowmobile is on a track and two skis. It's very difficult to move around my garage. So I think these dollies would help if I just put these on the front skis. As you saw from time lapse, it took me a long time to put this together. Not because it's hard, but because the box in shipping was damaged. Therefore, two nuts, a couple of small small things were missing. So I don't have nuts that are big enough to fit this size bolt. So as a result, I did find one, and that's on here. This one, I just I have five similar ones, but the tread just wasn't. The thread wasn't right. So um, also this wheel did not fit into the square hole. So I banged it in there with a the sledgehammer. It's on here and it won't come off, but I would like to have a screw. I mean a nut, but I don't have a nut. <laughs> so I'm gonna weld it to there. So I'm not gonna go out and buy a nut. I'm just gonna weld it so that it stays um, stationary. But anyway, this is how it works. You basically put this where your um, tire is. There's a thing that you loosen here to, so that you can stretch it out. That's what she said. Right? You put this in between your wheel and you pump it up. I'll show you after I weld this. As you can see, I poured out all my nuts and bolts that I could find. These were the closest ones, but the thread just didn't fit. So you saw I welded it together, it looks just fine.
Let me just demonstrate what I need these for. Right now, there's just too much stuff near my snowmobile, but basically my snowmobile skis are just gonna lay, lay like that so I can move it around. But these are what it, they're intended for. In case you're in a bad spot and you can't move the car, I'm gonna try this on my Mercedes. And it's a very heavy car, Mercedes. When the wheel is off the ground, it stops compressing. Then you can put one on the other side and you can slide the front of the car along with the caster wheels here. Now to disengage it, just let go of this and look. We'll just open up like that. So as you can see, with my snowmobile, the skis have no wheels on them. So it's very difficult to move this around. These portable mobility dollies are fantastic because now they're each on four caster wheels that are large and smooth rolling. So therefore I can now push it around my garage while I'm working and uh, get it into an area where I need to store it or work on it. So these things are great. Today, my task is to clean up the garage a little bit. Uh, I could use a lot of it, but I think only a little bit is going to make any difference. So I went to my mom's house to help her clean out some stuff. She's going through some stuff, okay? Uh, she's got this old, brand new, but old bookshelf. 72 inches high, 28 inches wide, 11 inches deep. It fits perfectly in that area there between that bookshelf and my supply of Lucas oil products. I figured it's nice and high. I can stack and put some more stuff in there so it doesn't look as cluttered. I know that sounds impossible, but a little bit of organization is better than nothing. It's extremely hot today. It's about going to be 90 today. This is the bookshelf I'm putting together. It's been sitting in my uh, mom's basement for years and uh, it's probably missing the hardware. I'm not sure. Anyway, I moved the snowmobile from here to there with my new Vivor dollies. It rolls pretty easily. This spot over here is perfect for the bookshelf because I have overstacked this shelf and it's like tilting. I've got so much crap. Anyway, so because it's so hot, I've got this fan on and I'm using this for like uh, the first time putting water in it. So I filled up the water here, so that's like halfway. And how it works is you open up this thing, right? Here, let me shut this off and show you. So I turn off the cooling and the motor will drain this water, take it down to there, right? And what happens is you take these ice packs that I've frozen in the freezer already. I'll put this here so that this pool right there is cooled with ice water. Cold filtered, you know, <laughs> like a Coors beer. All right, I'm gonna put this over here so that you can see this. Okay. When I press cooling, it shoots the water into this pool. This area will now be cold filter water. It pours out into these things there. And then drips down the back and side filters, coating that rear filter with ice cold water. And then the air blows out nice and cool. It's not like air conditioning, but it's very cool air. And so the air is sucked in from the hot outside, filtered to be more cooler, thus cooling the interior of the garage. It's pretty cool. I've been using it as a fan only. This is the first time I'm putting water in it and the ice packs. It's kind of a cool idea and it you know it's not super cold but it does filter it does make it cooler anyway i'm gonna put you on time lapse uh try to put that shelf together and put it over there
I had to stop what I was doing because some nut wants to see this. I started up for the first time in about a week. It has gas in it, check the oil. Primed it about 10 times. Let's try to sell it with a blade on it, huh? <laughs> Last time I put this in here, I didn't look down there. There's no blade. I put a blade on there. This is kind of with the clutch system. First time I ever had one. With the Tumson engine on it. Have it listed for 175. He offered me 150. I said, absolutely. Tecumseh engine? Come on. Okay, so there you guys go. Uh, this guy was a little bit of a nut, right? You know, he wasn't all there, you know. Uh, he says, oh, would you take out, out more, uh, would you take off more money because of the dead battery? I says, you didn't even know it had a battery. And not only that, I wrote down on the description that it had a dead battery. This is a feature that you're, you're not even supposed to get with a regular lawnmower. You understand what I'm saying? He said, oh, okay, I gotcha. I'm like, hey, you don't want it, you know, I'll sell it to somebody else who understands about this, you know. Like I said, most people around here don't even know that you could have a, a battery key start feature on a lawnmower, you know what I mean? So, you're not going to get full money for it because, you know, they don't even know it that feature exists. So they think that it's, you know, that they can take off money, see? So it's nothing but trouble. So that's why I don't like key starts. Uh, anyway. Like I said, he was a little bit of a nut, but whatever. He drove a long way from Mastic. 150, you know, honestly, it's a pretty good mower. Given it's a Tecumseh engine, I didn't really like the Tecumseh so well. But um, nevertheless, 150 bucks is 150 bucks, right? Uh, I got rid of it and uh, donated some more clothes that I got from my mom's house. Uh, give it to underprivileged people instead of just throwing it out. You know, if you guys have a place where you can donate clothes in a dumpster, whatever, don't throw out stuff that some people could use, you know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of people that are a lot less fortunate than, than, than us. And there are a lot of people that are very fortunate, more fortunate than us. But those people also give too, you know, here and there, you do see it. Anyway, back to the video. Holy cow, what a pain in the ass. This thing's a piece of shit. It's warped all over the place. The screws they gave you don't even go in. And when it goes in, you can pull it out with your hands. It's a joke. Tiny little screws. This is the worst shelf I ever tried to make. Granted, it was water damaged and, you know, old and stuff, but... I mean, you saw, it was falling apart halfway through. So I said, I'm just going to throw it out. But then I thought to myself, 
I can make this strong. I can build it. Now, as you can see, I, I was going to put this back panel, you know, it's just cardboard or whatever, but it would give it more structure. But putting it on, it doesn't even fit because you can tell how, how warped the wood is from looking at here. It won't even match up, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> it's crooked. I mean, I, I can't even get this to line up right, you know what I'm saying? It's all, every piece is warped. I mean, I'll, I'll try to bang it in a little bit, but I mean, it's really just a lost cause at this point, you know. Uh, I'll try to do the best I can to get this lined up, but as you can see, it, you, know, you put this here, and that part sticks out, and you try to line up this side over there with this board, and if you try to line up just the, the right side, it's bent, see, inwards. Try to line up this one on this left side. You can tell it's, it just doesn't match. But I'll try to get this on. It does create a little bit of structure, you know, for durability. I'll just do what I can. And then once I get this up, I'm going to pound nails all over it and see if we get it more sturdy. Okay, it's a little better, but not much. I mean, I feel the difference because I know how much I could walk here and how much I couldn't before. So, you know, one bookshelf did organize a lot of things. I have a whole section of empty boxes that I keep, so, I mean, that's a sickness that I have. Uh, but, yeah, it looks better. That that bookshelf sucked. Uh, but either way, you know, I didn't have to throw it away. I made it work, strengthened it, put nails in it, screws in it, and all that stuff. And finally, it started to stay together. Uh, when you put the backing on, it does make a little bit more structure, so it stopped moving. So, you know, I just put my old, my uh, excess Lucas Oil products that I still have uh, onto that shelf and was able to pile golf clubs and all that other shit, skis in that area in it. And I did push this snowmobile a little bit to the right so that I could walk a little bit more to the back door. But uh, it looks a little cleaner, you know. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad I was able to use the bookshelf. I didn't want to throw it away. You know? Yeah, we're going to turn it up. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, that's great! I got that on video! <laughs> what? Hey, I'm Andy from Jericho. See, See you guys, guys next time on Mowers and Blowers! Blowers.